There was recently an absolutely viral interview between Mira Moratti and the Wall Street Journal about their new AI video model, Sora. And this is going viral for a lot of different reasons. I don't necessarily think this is an amazing PR moment for OpenAI because essentially, you know, for the first four minutes of the interview, it was kind of talking about, you know, what was going on and just normal stuff and how this is working and it's so cool, etc. And then about minute four, things start taking a turn when the interviewer starts pressing Mira, who is the CTO, the chief technology officer of OpenAI, on you know where the data for this video model actually comes from and specifically asking if it was trained from YouTube and you know if they were taking people's data for this. So the interview, I'm gonna be honest, it got kind of uncomfortable. I want you guys to listen to some of this um, because I think it's very interesting and it feels a little bit telling. Um, and I wanna break down exactly what we know so far because there have been some reports on where this data is coming from um, and there's perhaps a little bit more that we know than OpenAI is letting on. Now the first thing that they kind of led into this that I'll show you the clip from is um, showing a few clips and talking about a couple clips um, and kind of where, you know, that the interviewer essentially saw that Sora generated and she's kind of saying like, you know, how did it know to generate these clips? So I'll show you those because I think this is, uh, this is kind of interesting, but then I'll get down to the actual, uh, you know, uncomfortable questions that were asked. And I think maybe some telling responses that Miria gave. So here's the first, first little clip. Every time, Every I, time watch I watch a Sora. Oh, and one thing that I will say about this um, is that uh, if you're watching this on Spotify or YouTube, you can actually see this. Otherwise, I'll just explain, um, you know, what we're kind of, uh, you know, what we're kind of seeing. Clip. I wonder, what videos did this AI model learn from? Did the model see any clips of Ferdinand to know what a bull in a china shop should look like? Was it a fan of SpongeBob? Wow! You look real good with a mustache, Mr. Krabs. By the way, my prompt for this crab said nothing about a mustache. What? Okay, so what's really interesting here is, um, you know, she showed a bunch of clips and of course, it, she asked for a mermaid. There was a crab with the mermaid, evidently from, you know, the little mermaid. Um, but the crab has a mustache and looked very eerily similar to, you know, Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. It's not something you typically think of like, oh, you know, uh, crabs have mustaches. So it seems that like there's going to be a lot of those type of Easter eggs that I think a lot of people maybe raise red flags and they feel like, oh, this was all trained off of copyrighted data. So evidently she wanted to get into that. And uh, here is the interesting, some would say uncomfortable exchange between the Wall Street Gur Journal and Miria on this exact. What data was used to train Sora? We used publicly available data and licensed data. So videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. One thing that uh, she's getting a lot of criticism for, people are like, if you're the CTO, you definitely should know, you know, basically if you're getting videos from the world's largest video repository, YouTube or not. Um, so I'm not sure. There's a lot of speculation. I'm going to get into what people are saying the, the cause for these answers are. But if you thought that that was kind of uncomfortable and uh, I don't know, people are screenshotting her face as she reacts to that question. And that's kind of the meme that's going around. But if you thought that that was uncomfortable, uh, this is the rest of, you know, what the reporter then asked. Okay. Videos from Facebook, Instagram. You know, if they were publicly available, um, available, yet yeah, publicly available to use. Um, there might be the data, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not confident about it. What about Shutterstock? I know you guys have a deal with them. I'm, I'm just not going to go into the details of, of the data that was that was used, but it was publicly available or licensed data. After the interview, Marani confirmed that the licensed data does include content from Shutterstock. Okay, so very interesting. Obviously, uh, you know, a lot of people are criticizing the fact that she wasn't able to really go into a lot of detail on where the data was coming from, specifically if they were able to take data from, um, you know, micro or from uh, Facebook and Instagram, and especially YouTube is the big one a lot of people are talking about. Now, YouTube actually comes from a report that came out last year from the information where they said 
that OpenAI was using uh, videos from YouTube to actually train some of its AI models like ChatGPT. Um, and so I think that it's it would be, you know, if, if they used it in that data set, I don't see why they wouldn't have used it in um, training a model like Sora. But, you know, they can't openly admit to this. A lot of people are saying, allegedly, right? I'm just saying what people, what I've heard. People are saying they can't admit to this because of the lawsuits that they're currently, you know, having with... Um, the New York Times and a lot of other places, a lot of people are, are suing for essentially where they got their data from. So at this point, it seems like they just want to stay tight lipped and say it was publicly available or licensed. So don't worry, you know, there's there's nothing we're doing wrong here. So a lot of people are, are skeptical about this, specifically with like the YouTube question, because even if let's say it was publicly available and maybe technically within the terms to scrape available YouTube videos, um, people are saying, does the general public know that when they create a video, it's going to be scraped and turned into a model that can, you know, generate videos like, is this, I don't know. So it kind of feels, some people are saying it kind of feels shady. So I think that's very interesting. Um, I think that uh, there's a definitely a transparency issue there that we should talk about. Um, so Google and Meta, so that's of course Facebook and Instagram's parent company, they're known to use publicly shared videos and images to train their models, right? So Google for Gemini is using YouTube and Meta is using, you know, everything on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and so I think that there's still a lot of questions about like the public's awareness and consent to this whole um, issue because this is kind of a new thing. And we, we like traditionally as we've been creating YouTube videos or even content or posting pictures or, or videos on our social media and Instagram and et cetera, like the thought isn't, oh, this is going to be used to train an AI model. It's like I'm sharing this with people I like. And maybe the thing that people are concerned about with in the past was like the privacy and that Facebook was kind of creating like a giant, uh, you know, document and file about you and everything they know about you. Now it's kind of shifting to be like, and also they're going to like literally create a model that can replicate your content. So that is, I think, something that uh, we, you know, people are concerned about. Um, there's a bunch of, you know, different concerns about the lack of, you know, direct exchange in the use of personal and creative works for training large scale AI models um, without this kind of consent. Um, and so I think it's going to be interesting to see where this goes, if they're able to continue doing this in the future, if there's going to be kind of like a public outcry. My question, honestly, is going to be what if Google gets involved and sues them. Um, but if that happened, then Google would look like a hypocrite for using it as well, um, using these, you know, because they're just saying, oh, it's publicly available. So I actually tend to think Google, because of them using the same data for Gemini, will not sue OpenAI or pursue it there. And I'd be curious to see if, uh, you know, some sort of lawsuit is um pursued if you know people find out that all of their youtube videos for example or if it's going to come down to something like you know the the crabs that have mustaches are copies of mr crabs from spongebob and so uh you know someone like nickelodeon would go after them so i'd be really curious to see where the next wave of lawsuits lands out of the the video space we know that it's coming because it's happened with images and it's happened with text and video would just be the next frontier so it'd be very interesting to see where this lands but all in all i'll keep you updated on how this rolls out um a very interesting exchange and interview uh, of mira with the wall street journal